before this game begins, a little bit of hardware to hand out. The OLA honoring Bob Hanna for many years of hard work and service. To the action on the floor now, Riley O'Connor over to Dan Lintner, and he's going to put this one in in the open side. It's one to nothing for the Warriors, but Jacob Roost and the Burlington Chiefs would reply a pair of goals from Roost. This one from outside, and then from a little bit in closer, it's going to make it two to one for the Chiefs. Moments after, Emerson Clark thinks that Brody Bierkoff is taking some liberties with one of his teammates. The two of them would go at it. Bierkoff getting some shots of his own in, and Clark addition out the punishment as usual. Both boys would be done for the night. Bouquet flings this one in his own net as he came out to play the loose ball. One of those moments where you just try to put it behind you, but the Warriors did have some trouble after that. A minute 30 later, Lachlan Elder he would get this one to go, and that's shortly followed by Roost's the third goal of the night to make it 5-3 as the Warriors are back on their heels for just a moment. But Stefan Deschenko, fresh out of the penalty box and a goal of his own, sets up Austin Shanks, and Deschenko was fired up about this one. Coincidence or not, that was a turning point in the game, that goal and that display of emotion. Jordy Jones-Smith to Riley O'Connor. On the power play three minutes later, Whitby right back into this game. John St. John and Ryan Keenan both denied in close here by Doug Buckin. Chad Tutton's going to finish off the scoring here in the second period on the power play. Make it 7-6 to six after two periods for the Warriors. Shows here he can get it done defensively as well, taking the shot away from Elder in the third period. Deschenko then wires this one past Buckin, who thought he had it all the way. Two goals and two assists of force. Deschenko on this night, and the Warriors starting to pull away with this game in the third period. Daryl Robertson then introduces Derek Cyril to the floor with a nice hit. Emotions start to get the best of the Burlington Chiefs here. Lintner with a goal and then a little shush message to the bench, and perhaps that was a little bit uh, too much for the Chiefs to take. Cyril comes over, and a few players start to push and shove, and some face masks pulled, but really nothing out of the ordinary. But then this happens. Brian Cole with a cowardly act on Austin Shanks. He's not even looking. Takes a shot to the ribs with the stick and then while Shanks is down Cole follows it up with a cross check to the head. He's not that kind of player. 17 games played this season for the Chiefs. Only 45 penalty minutes so this was certainly out of character for him but on this night that was just ugly stuff from Mr. Brian Cole. Warriors bench getting into it with the Chiefs bench as well. They're certainly not happy about the way things played out here late in this game. After all is said and done, the Warriors take it by a score of 14-8 to, to finish second in the standings. They will face Barry in the first round, while the third place Chiefs will face Peterborough. 